you shared your screen. Yep. Okay. So it did us making some some moves as well. Um, about time we saw we spoke about the whole alts thing. Um, about two weeks ago, it's been made into its own video as well. Um, and now they've got something called a, a, a golden ticket. Um, that's come out guaranteed cop to any hype draw of your choice for the next year. So it's sort of like a, a membership, uh, you know, a special additional membership, almost like a black American Express credit card, you know, uh, for Adidas that you, you get guaranteed um, uh, crops of any drop that you want. Um, and they did it as a raffle. Here's the raffle information. But the point is more just the fact that they are trying to make moves and they're doing something that's unique which is always nice because there's always been this beef between adidas and um, nike in nfts and web3 where they've accused and uh, nike has accused publicly accused adidas of just copying them um so now this is something i haven't seen before um definitely not from nike and here you've got it all the details you can just go onto their their twitter but you'll see the raffle is is happening all uh, today on the 5th of may and then the winners will be airdropped on the 20th of may and then from the 20th of may onwards you can use it um at any stage you want to to crop any item that you want or obviously you can trade it or buy uh, sell it or whatever it may be yeah. um so just nice to see them doing something a little bit different and they they've launched a whole um description on it pretty much what i've just explained to you under their indigo hertz which is what we spoke about um last week so definitely making moves. We've got their PFP coming out soon. They showed their new merch. Um, their Kate and I both were sort of like, eh. I got a, a couple of comments which were like, don't say eh, I've seen it in real life and it's amazing. If that was the team or not, who knows? But they Who's are a dentist. In real life? Yeah, someone said they, it, they look who said sick. that? I saw someone wearing it, bro. They're not even I, out. I, 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 no, I saw someone wearing it in real life, bro. Oh. Uh, um i think they did what what nark did i know it's funny because we just spoke how they're not copying nark anymore so let's just catch everyone up this is the shoe uh, uh, yeah i'm not going to give my opinion again i got a little bit of flack but this was what we weren't sure about the material of the hoodie it's like that woolly woolly material which is actually i think very comfortable but um i would wear it at home i don't know if i'd wear it out um but i'm sure i don't know if it was on this youtube uh, sorry twitter but I did, yeah, see, guys are wearing it, bro. Guys are wearing it. Oh, yeah, that guys are, guys. like shit. What's the problem? When you pair that with neon, dude, like nothing goes with neon, bro. Okay, like, that's like, hilarious. I wore neon, by the way. This is coming from someone who wore neon, like, a lot. And I look back in that time, and I'm like, what the fuck was I thinking? Dude, neon's not okay. It's not okay to wear neon anymore. It's just, it's just so. It's such okay, a but forget the neon. We're talking about the blue. I mean, this guy, this guy looks like a million bucks over here. Almost, almost <laughs> no situation I could see. I could see that outfit working. Like literally, I can't. Like even at home. There's Farouk. Even Was at that Farouk? Huh? Is that Farouk? Oh, that is Farouk. You know what I found interesting? I've seen Max partnering with quite a few. Um, People, where did I see that he partnered with? I like the shoes that they got a board eh, from them. Hmm? I just want to pause it at the right place. No. I, I mean, that, that looks a bit better. Still not my style. Yeah, uh, oh, for, I mean, I don't like this. I'm sorry. I really don't like it. Yeah, but at least they're trying to be different. Do you remember the, um, the neon freaking tracksuit they did before this yes yeah yeah this guy's wearing the beanie i mean it's also i, I don't know but it's a dentist bro they know how to make clothes yeah i don't know dude i don't really fuck with any of their clothes i don't like i like, I, I understand the idea of like a big company name but i don't know man like most of my even before i started wearing my own clothes i never really wore like adidas and nike like i feel like those mainstream brands became too mainstream to where they focused on quantity and just like general broad style versus like dialed in uh 
like I don't know. Like I feel like the the smaller companies that kind of blew up on social media tailor their their stuff to people are uh, at least my age um, who are engaged with their stuff like in their like teens to to thirties and forties in the fitness industry mainly, and they really tailor their stuff for the people who are gonna be wearing them. And so I started wearing like other co- like I guess you would call them secondary companies like smaller companies, and the quality is literally twenty times better. And it's about the same, maybe a little bit more expensive, but I pretty much stopped wearing clothes from decent. Like I don't really, I don't think they're that good. Also, I'm on a, I'm on toywiz.com and I'm about to buy a pudgy penguin uh, plush toy. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. You should also get a V friend. You should also get a V friend from Toys R Us um, plush toy. I oh, mean, wait, I, cause I'm the there, investment. So, so, you know, we said we want something in the friends ecosystem. The investment in a pack of cards or in a toy is a lot less than in the NFT. And if he blows up, they will they will 10x, 20x, 50x. Yes, 50x of oh. a two ETH NFT is more than 50x of a $2 pack of cards. But Which one should I buy? I mean, these, uh, there's there's the, the classic gorilla, the blue gorilla one. That is a, that's a pretty iconic I one. Probably share want your screen. Okay. Come on. And and you don't have to take it off. I'll remove it for you. So okay. you don't have to do this every time. You can keep it on and then I will when you want to show something, I'll just click a button and then it will be there. Like now it's coming. Okay. So there we go. here's the Toys R Us. So there's options here. This one's sold on V. How much are they? Twenty five bucks for this one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a lot a lot easier I'm, entry. I'm very inclined to pick this one up. Um however I do kind of fuck with this cow. <laughs> so I, was also I don't at. like the car. Uh, I must prefer sure. the blue guy. Yeah, I, I prefer the blue guy too. So I'm gonna stick with that one. And here's the punchy pink. Here, the only reason I'm sketched out on this one is I've never heard of Toy Wiz, and this picture is so terrible that I'm not quite yeah. sure if this is real. And there's your bear hat to keep him warm. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yes. Kate, will you do me a favor, my man? Will you buy me uh, one of those beef friend toys and put it with my pile that you got there? Yeah, that yes. guy. Yeah, twenty four dollars. Will you buy them for me also? Uh, if you getting, will you? I want to have. I want to have one. Yeah. Are you not? Just able don't to buy? open mine. Can you not buy yours? No, bro, not in South Africa. Uh, no. 